Going to do a review and demonstration of two hand tachometers. Both of these use a laser that will bounce off a piece of reflective tape. There's a few pieces of this tape that comes with each one. And this one has the additional benefit of also working as a contact tachometer. And you have these different pieces that will slide on this shaft for that purpose. Both come in a padded case and have an operations manual. This is the DT2234C+. Plus. And this one uses a 9-volt battery. And it just slides in there. This came with a battery that was totally dead, so do not expect a good battery. When you push the button, the laser comes on, and it will bounce off of one of these reflective tapes, and you'll get a reading. When you let go of this, you push memory, and memory will show you what the last reading was. So, real simple to operate. This is the DT2236C. And this display works in two different positions. When you're holding it like this, you slide this over to RPM Photo. And this button turns on the laser. It will give you a reading. Then when you let go of the button, you push memory and it'll tell you what the last RPM was. If you want to do the contact tachometer, you put one of these pieces on here and you slide the switch to the center position which is contact RPM and again you have to push this button. When you're pushing that this is turning and you let go of it and you come back and you push this and it'll tell you what the RPM was and this reads correctly in this position for the contact RPM it reads correctly in this position when you're using the laser. And there is one more attachment for this that goes on here. This wheel. And you slide this all the way over to meters per minute. And if you put this like on a moving conveyor or a belt of some type, it will tell you how fast that's moving in meters per minute. This one uses four AA pen light batteries. One problem we have when we're using a laser tack and it's reflecting the laser beam off of one of these pieces of tape. If you have a shiny surface and you can see how the fluorescent lights reflect off of this, you can get some false readings. So if you have a shaft, if you can darken it and then put the tape on it, it's probably going to work a lot better. So I put a piece of electrical tape around here and we're going to try it both ways. Another thing you can do if you have a relatively low RPM, you can put a piece of tape here and one directly opposite. You'll get two reflections for each revolution. You divide the reading by two or you can put three on here and put them at 120 degrees roughly. This does not have an off switch. Anytime you push this button the laser comes on. And if it's in the soft case, it's easy to push the button if it's leaning up against something. And I'm quite certain that's why this battery was received dead. It was leaning up against something while in transit, and it drained the battery. It's also very easy to accidentally turn this on and shine it in your own eye or someone else's or reflect it off of something. This will cause permanent eye damage. So this is a real easy battery to take out. There's no wire or clip or anything, it just slides in there. So if you're not going to be using it, take the battery out and put it in the soft case, then you'll have a battery next time you go to use it. This one, if you have the switch in the center here for RPM contact or meters per minute, the laser will not come on. However, batteries are so bad about leaking, I believe in taking batteries out of anything that I'm not using. Otherwise, you're allowed to come back and find a bunch of leaking batteries in your tachometer and everything will be corroded. So take the batteries out. If I look in the end of this and I do have all the batteries out, 
If I look right in the center of this, I can see that little piece of brass with a like a lens in the center of it. That is your laser. And if I look straight on, it's quite well centered in this window. So this is producing a fairly focused laser beam. As received, if I push that button, that laser beam is scattered all over the place. Take the screws out of this. You want to be a little bit careful with the wire. When I open this up, I look at this laser. It's actually pointing downward. Let's see if I can straighten that up a little bit and get that laser to point straight out through the window. Kind of gentle. We'll try that. A word of caution, you do not want to operate this laser with this case open. You can scatter that light anywhere. After playing with it, this one puts out a more focused beam across the room. It's still pretty scattered. By comparison, this one puts out a nice red dot even across the room. It's very focused. This tachometer lists for $20. You can get it for about $12. And this tachometer lists for about $37 and you can get it for $27. This one is made a bit better and it's more usable because it's a laser and a contact tachometer. I have the ET6 in a machinist vise. Keep it in one spot. So we're running about 2,000 RPM. About 2,000 RPM. This is a brighter laser and it's picking up more reflections off that shiny flywheel. Finally got the right answer there. You should do better on this side. This is a brighter laser and it's picking up a lot of reflection off this shiny flywheel. So it got a bunch of erroneous readings over here. It's settled down pretty good. It works pretty well. And that's with one piece of tape. This one, this is a weaker laser in a sense and it's a scattered beam. It did okay. It's not bad. You do have to have an idea of about how fast something is running so you know when you're getting an incorrect reading. Let's use the contact part of that tachometer. More accurate. I've placed a second piece of reflective tape 180 degrees opposite and we'll try each tachometer. We should get twice the actual speed. We need to divide the reading by two. just over 2,000 RPM. Using the contact, we're actually running about 1,900 right now. Go to the laser.
They're not laboratory accurate, but they give you a rough idea how fast your engine's running or your motor or whatever it is you're trying to measure. And considering no more than what these cost, I think they work pretty well. $12, less than 30 and this one is more accurate.